Here's my 88 Vandura with a 5.7 TBI, you can see TBI right there, engine. I had a crank no start issue and it was the simplest fix. It sat not turning over for over a year. So I just wanna share this with you because it was so simple and took so little time after a year of trying to figure it out. So I wanna preface and say that I had other issues with this van that I replaced and they did not fix the crank no start. So it would crank over and every you would hear the fuel pump, which was new, priming, all those things. And because all those things are run off the 12 volt power supply coming off your battery, the ground may be a problem, okay? So this main ground from the starter battery runs underneath to the front of the engine block. Okay, so this is the bottom of the engine from the front. I'm just under the front bumper looking up and here is the ground coming off the battery. It's so that cable right there. This is coming from the negative of my starter battery right here. So what I did when my van would crank and no start is I got desperate because nothing else was working even though I replaced a bunch of parts and I unbolted this. All right, so this is a 14 millimeter nut that is, that is holding the ground cable on to the front of the engine block. It's probably easier at the socket, but you get the point, okay? So get that guy off. That's it. That's that simple. This is the ground. This is going from your negative on your 12 volt battery. You notice it's pretty shiny compared to the collar area there. You can see that little bit of discoloration and kind of texture. I presume it's just some sort of oxidation. This is what I did. I undid this. So I took my Dremel tool with the little bristle brush, which you can get them for like a drill as well. And I just went and took this to the you know, connecting area of this ground strap here. I did both sides. I went, clean it off. Like I said, you can see that's shiny now, not oxidized compared to its little collar there. And I just bolted it back on. I literally spent 30 seconds doing that. I was like I said, I was desperate. I was just like, come on, this is so stupid. But my neighbor had been like, oh, it's probably a ground. So I literally just put that guy back on there. Now mind you, I had power in my van. This is, is, it's not that I had no power. I had power, it would crank. But this is what was so weird about this whole scenario. I just put this back on. Of course I bolted it, uh, I tightened it back on there. And went and turned the van on. Okay, so now mind you, my van has other problems. It needs a new head gasket for one. So the point was, all that time not being able to get to start, I didn't want to pay someone to work on it. I didn't really have money to have someone diagnose why it had a no start, a crank and no start. And it was such a simple fix. Just that ground strap coming off the battery. Now I know there's multiple grounds, but that's the main ground. I would start there. There's a chart online that shows all the ground points. And one of the reasons I never tackled it was I was like, oh, I gotta go find all these grounds on the chassis and that is not necessarily the case in my case it was the one ground and a little wire brushing all right so my theory on why that mattered was because everything is voltage dependent so if you're not getting enough voltage because the ground is not solid you know you could be getting lesser amount of volts to something like the fuel pump or in this case something like the tbi whether it was just the fuel pump that wasn't quite getting enough pressure or up to the uh, TBI or it was the TBI itself, I'm not 100% sure. Or if it was something in the ignition control, maybe it was a combo of all of these things. But my van had sat for a period of time. From, you know, so basically, okay, I drove it into the garage, turned it off, left it for six months, came back, and it wasn't turning on. Uh, why is that? And so in this case, uh, I had something to do with the ground strap becoming 
you know, more or less uh, oxidized or corroded or however you want to say. So hopefully that helps. So maybe you're in a similar situation. I would definitely check that ground strap, make sure it's clean before I start firing the parts can at other things. So you can start with that as a baseline. Or those ground straps are just not that much money at, you know, AutoZone, O'Reilly's. Um, you know, if yours looks super nasty or you don't have a Dremel tool or a wire brush of some kind, uh, maybe just grab a new one. All right, I hope that helps.